In other news, the outgoing president of Honduras, Juan Orlando Hernandez, arrived in Taiwan this evening for a two-day state visit. It's his fourth time in Taiwan, and he's here with his country's foreign minister, finance minister, and other officials. The visit comes just ahead of Honduras's presidential election. The country's main opposition party has said that if it wins, it will switch recognition from Taipei to Beijing. Taiwan's foreign ministry says it's monitoring the situation closely. Outgoing Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez on Thursday tweeted a photo of himself with President Tsai Ing-wen. He wrote that he'd accepted her invitation to visit. He said he was on his way to Taipei to thank Tsai for all the support given to the Honduran people. This year marks the 80th anniversary of Taiwan-Honduras diplomatic relations, and this trip is Hernandez's fourth to Taiwan. Tsai is expected to confer the Order of Brilliant Star upon Honduran Foreign Minister Lozando Rosales. The Honduran delegation is expected to stay for only two days before returning home in time for the November 28th presidential election. Xiomara Castro, the presidential candidate of the opposition party, says she will switch recognition to Beijing if elected. Hernandez's trip comes amid fears of an imminent loss of a Taiwan ally. Uh, the hullabaloo over unstable Taiwan-Honduras diplomatic relations has raged for half a year now. At this time, the Honduran president has decided to take action and lead a delegation of high-level officials to Taiwan to quash the rumors. We think this is really the right action to take. How can a 70- or 80-year-old diplomatic relationship be impacted by a single election? Honduras will have its election at the end of the month. While this is going on, the Honduran president has stopped to thank Taiwan for its long-term support of Honduras. This trip to Taiwan is to let the people of Honduras know that the Taiwan-Honduras friendship is not going to change. Meanwhile, Taiwan and Lithuania are preparing to establish mutual representative offices. News of the mutual offices had greatly angered China, which recalled its ambassador from Lithuania and imposed economic sanctions on the country. On Thursday, U.S. State Department official Mike Murray spoke from Lithuania's capital, Vilnius, emphasizing that the name of Taiwan's office in Lithuania was not for China to decide. Murray also criticized China for its bullying of Lithuania, calling the actions unacceptable. Lithuania has been strengthening its trade relationship with Taiwan, and next year will begin selling Lithuanian food and beauty products through a Taiwan e-commerce site. Sales of Lithuanian products in Taiwan are expected to outpace those in any other part of Asia.